this. Wild blueberry pie has your name on it. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Bodoilovich in the kitchen at the cottage on probably the hottest day of the year, but I just had to go in the kitchen and make an incredible wild blueberry pie. If you've never been here before, let me get a bunch of stuff out of the way. Please subscribe to weekendatthecottage.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Look for us on your favorite social media platforms, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Okay, yesterday I go into town and there at the local Mennonite farm stand, wild blueberries. If you can pick your own, go ahead. If not, keep your eyes peeled for wild blueberries. Incredible in this recipe. We're going to start the recipe by making pie dough. If you've never made pie dough before, click up here for a quick tutorial. Very straightforward. I love my pie dough. It was my mom's. Always works. Watch how I prepare it. You'll be a, an expert in no time. Once our dough is prepared and chilling in the fridge, we need to take two pints of wild blueberries. I like to give them a quick rinse. I'm going to spread them out onto a cloth just to dry a little bit. When you're working with wild blueberries, the size is so tiny and yet every once in a while you'll see a little stem that's been left behind by the picker. Just pull that away and before you know it, your blueberries are ready to go. We're going to start by taking a small bowl. Into that bowl, I'm going to add two-thirds of a cup of granulated sugar and then I like a variation on flavor so I'm adding one-third of a cup of loosely packed yellow golden sugar. Add three tablespoons of cornstarch, quarter teaspoon of salt, stir those ingredients together. Now we transfer our blueberries into a large bowl. We're going to add the juice of one lemon. This is going to give it a zippy flavor. Gently stir the blueberries and the sugar mixture together. And then one thing I like to do right at the last minute, a pinch of ground cinnamon. Same thing, a pinch of nutmeg. For some reason, blueberries love the flavor of cinnamon and nutmeg. You'll be surprised when you take your first bite. Stir those ingredients together, place them to the side, take your first disc of dough out of the refrigerator. We're gonna flour our surface, flour our rolling pin, and you're gonna roll out your first disc of dough. What we then do is take our pie plate, place it on top. I'm taking a fluted ravioli cutter all the way around the edge. We take the pie plate away, roll that up, transfer it to a plate, leave it to the side. That's going to be the top of this pie. Second disc of dough, same thing, roll it out onto your surface, roll it up onto your rolling pin and unroll it onto your pie plate, push down, sink the dough into the plate, sharp knife all around the edge, we're trimming away the excess dough. Gently transfer your blueberries in, spread them out a little bit, don't push down on them. Remember, this isn't going to be like an apple pie where the fruit sits up. Blueberry pies are kind of flat looking, but boy, the taste ever fantastic. So last thing now, we have two tablespoons of butter, just kind of hack off little bits, place it on top of the pie. Pie plate goes to the side. Return that round topper disc to your work surface. And I have these cute little vegetable cutters. You could use cookie cutters. And you press down into the dough, take the shape, and transfer those shapes to the side of your work surface. Look at the attractive pattern you can create on the top of your dough. Carefully, we're gonna slowly roll this back onto our rolling pin and then unroll it on the top. It may not fit perfectly because those little butter patties. So push the butter down and you'll see the dough goes right to the edge. Now, three finger crimp two fingers and one. We're going all the way around. Try not to damage that little fluted edge when you're going to press together. It's part of the look. Then we're taking those little forms that we cut out and we're going to place them again along the edge in an attractive fashion. You have a really beautiful looking pie. Egg wash. We're going to brush the top of the pie and then a beautiful sparkly sugar sprinkle on the top. Transfer your pie onto a baking sheet. It will weep in the oven. Place it on a baking sheet into our oven. We're going to bake for 25 minutes at 425 at the 25 minute mark open your oven rotate your pie turn the heat down to 350 and you're going to bake for an additional 30 minutes when the pie comes out of the oven you'll see the top is beautifully golden it's a little bit weepy not because it's upset but because the beautiful juice has bubbled up it's begging you to take a try but don't do that yet let it sit for maybe two hours let it kind of just calm down and then when you're ready 
a sharp knife leaves all the way down the center into that flaky crust. Check that out. You cut your pie shape, then with a the pie lifter, you're gonna lift up. The tradition of wild blueberry pies, they will weep. There's a little bit of liquid that'll come away. It's part of the charm. Transfer onto a plate. I'd like a dollop of whipped cream, and then we're gonna add a sprinkle of ground cinnamon on top, and then you're ready to enjoy. Uh, I think the first forkful is what always does it uh, for me, that first little bite of a beautiful, homemade, handmade wild blueberry pie, there is nothing like this moment. <laughs> Truly, one of my favorites, if not my absolute favorite pie. I hope I've inspired you to make wild blueberry pie. Get out there, pick those wild blueberries, make your pie dough, make this beautiful pie and then come on back and hang out with the weekend at the cottage again. We hope to see you soon. Take care. Who wants some? It's done. I'm done. Come on. <laughs>